Hey, hi. In this video, I am gonna share my internship interview experiences. In the previous video, I have got so many questions on interview experiences and how what are the questions that I will ask, and what are the what is the type of the questions, or how how is it hard or easy. So in this video, I am gonna share my experiences and what are the questions that I might ask in the interviews so that you would pass with green. Okay, and I will also share some tips and tricks so that you can use it in interview and better ace the interview. So there are mainly three types of interviews, not three, but there are three types of evaluations in the uh, internship. The first one is qualifier and the last like, two ones which are inter interim and the final are interviews. About the qualifier, I have already explained in the previous video. You can check that out in the link. I will keep it in the description or you can click here or in the second one, and third one which is interim and a final evaluation and i will explain about those in detail now about the interim for the interim to start everyone needs to be on track on the platform where you solve the problems every week once everyone is on track your coach your cohort coach will commit you come to you and ask uh, when we will start the interim and they will have a curriculum and if no one is on track, they won't start the interim. So everyone has to be on track. Once on track, they will start the in, um, interim by scheduling time for each other person, each other person in the cohort. Uh, she will schedule interviews based on the availabilities of the full-time employees who got the experiences about three to five years. The interviewers will be having experiences they will be senior like senior associates or senior leaders or senior members who has the knowledge of what you're working on so the coach will approach them and they will come they will give some slots and those slots will be booked for you to give the interview you get a mail that your slot is booked on this date and this time and you have to attend that um, interview so how to attend that interview and what happens so find a place like a meeting room like this uh, just sit in there uh, where no one is there and just first open that platform and where you are uh, solving the questions there will be an option for interview and just go to that interview option and we will find just join the call five minutes before the interview uh, interview schedule once you join the call don't panic just be calm and once the interviewer joins ask just he just he will he or she will just uh, introduce himself like hi and hello you just introduce himself and they may ask like tell me about yourself it's like introduction just give you an introduction like your name and where you're from and what cohort you are belongs to and what you are learning and what skills you have learning and if you're building a project and tell that this is the progress that i have made in my project once they get clear understanding of what you are going through they will ask questions on what you have shared they will the questions can be like they may already have prepared some questions for you or they give questions they ask questions when based on what you have shared in the introduction in the introduction you have met said like i have learned this java and i might learn uh, i have learned angular so they will ask what you have learned in angular in particular in Anglin particular, I have learned component, water components and all of those things. So they will go deep. They will just check like, do you have the understanding of what you are talking? Do you have exactly know what you are talking so that they know how depth your knowledge is? And sometimes they may ask their data structures and algorithms and don't fear. They won't be that much like basic questions they will ask like what? Uh, finding the maximum in an array or uh, Fibonacci series like and finding even or not and summing all of them and getting the value like those questions those are type of data structures and algorithms they may ask if they ask you the DSA questions they will um, they will ask you to send that code in the chat they will be uh, once you join your screen will be shared so whatever you are doing on the screen will be shared with them so whatever you're typing a code will be shared with them and you they will ask you to send the code in the chat they will they will review that code and also if you have sql all of those things they may ask you to write the queries they may ask sql queries all of those things 
those queries also not much difficult like finding employee id with maximum salary like those of queries so if you want my interview interim experience mm. for me it went the same as like i said first i started with the interim interview uh, introduction she has asked questions on my uh, what are the ha- things i have shared on the introduction and after that she may he have asked a dsc question that i haven't clearly remember and also one sql question and that's it and basic questions on my project and what my project is and what i have built and how i came up with the solution to build that project and all of those things i have explained and interview went well so some of the tips i want to give for the interim is so before going to the interview there might be some people let me your friends will be your friends or colleagues all of them have may have attended some the same interview but the same interviewer if it is the same interviewer just check the video that how the interview has gone ask them say that you won't tell to anyone just get the interview check what are the questions that the interviewer asking to them and how they have replied and for the best uh, result what you need to do just review that interview so it will give you the best idea of how to answer to that interviewer before get attending the interview and try to and if the, in the interview there may be some awkward silences like they may not ask some questions directly or some kind of uh, things so what happens is at that time what you need to do is you have to explain your project just say that you know, i have done this project and what you have worked on and this is the features i have built what are the things show them that you have know something that you have learn these things and these things in the interview or in the internship you are not playing you are learning something and these are the things you have built if there is some kind of awkward silences and if there is awkward silence there will be a negative impression on them so you have to fill those up with the project experience of the what are the project you have built and what are the things you have learned now you will get to know who is the interviewer and what is the what is his or her name now you can check the interviewer profile in the linkedin to know more about the interviewer uh, what are the pro- experience and also what are the technologies he has worked on so based on so based on that you will get an idea of what are the questions he or um, they might ask in the interview and if you don't know something say that i don't know this i will learn in future or after this interview or an ex if you want me to explain after that i will explain it like that say something say something don't be quiet uh, say something related to the question that they may have asked so that they will know that you know something about this question so don't be uh, silent okay and those are the tips i want to give for the interview for the better preparation and for final interview same as interview interim experience uh, interim same as final but the duration of the final will be of 20 to 30 minutes the interim should be minimum 20 minutes it should not be less than 20 minutes to consider it as a final interview and it in the final interview they have a, s- a scope of the whole project what are the what are the things that you have learned in the whole internship they will have a curriculum they will uh, they may ask anything from the curriculum you have to be ready to answer any of the questions and if you don't know anything or like you know the basic knowledge and what you need to do is you should not you should take up the interview interview like you should not allow them to ask questions like what i'm saying is you should take the most of the time in explaining your project or explaining the things that you already know say confidently confident being confident is very mad very important in the interview like and that's what have made me get the amber in the final interview i was not confident in my in my uh, at the time and also i haven't showed that i have worked on the project even though i have worked on the project i haven't said to him that i have worked on the project these are the things that i have done in the project my contribution have been shown in the interview so I, that's why i got amber in that uh, interview and also he asked some of the out of co- out of scope questions that i am not able to answer even though i managed to answer the questions but i have been showed him that i know what uh, he wanted to me to know so be confident 
and show your contribution in the project that what you have done in the interview in the in the internship so that they will know that you have the basic knowledge to cope up with the work that you might get in the fd so the main aim of these interviews is that they just want to check your progress and they don't want you to leave the company they want you to stay in the company so they don't the maximum of the interviewers will be like they don't want you to give red they want you to give green but you might you have to allow them to give green to move forward so it depends on you you have to make them believe that you can, they can count on you and your behavior also will be checked during the interview and how you're responding everything will be checked so be prepared and be confident that's my uh, suggestions for the interview and if you get amber in the interim you don't need to worry about anything you just need to study hard for the final because you will have a second attempt in the final if you get red in the interim you will not have second chance in the in final so you have to be be prepared you give your best at the final to get the a green in the final now if you get amber in final you will get five more extra days to reattempt the final evaluation five more business days business work days like holidays won't count you have to be there five business working days in the company and prepare and in those five working days they will keep remedial sessions for you if you have any kind of doubts they will uh, help you with the try they will be trainer you can ask him questions and at the end of the five days they will have an mock interview with the trainer and he will ask the questions again you have to answer the interviews and before the interview there will be mock interviews you have to attend the mock interviews before the interim and final evaluations so that it will help you prepare more for the interviews for the interim and final evaluations they won't be the same interviewer you won't get the same interviewer for the both the evaluations so these are the mistakes that i have made and please don't copy or cheat in the interview you will definitely caught definitely get caught in the interview so they are aware that you are cheating so don't do that okay so that's it be confident and if you are attending the interview recently or maybe in the future all the best for your interview be confident and prepare well that's all thank you bye and for more videos like this subscribe and see you in the next video bye